Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation, and in today's video, we are finally going over some of the latest medals that have arrived in the game. I apologize for being late on this. I'm covering it now though, so <laughs> doing what I can. Uh, before I get started though, I do want to let you guys know that the join button is now available as feature on my channel. Chances are you've probably seen some other YouTubers have this as part of their channel where essentially you can opt in as a way to show your support for the channel as well as the fact that in return you get some cool goodies in return as well according to the creator. Um, as of right now, because I'm just starting in this off and I don't really know what people would want uh, and just to also, as well as I also wanted to keep it cheap too, just because I know a lot of you out there um, don't like spending money in the first place, but I do get comments all the time where people do want to sh like do show their support. So as of right now, I currently have two tiers. I have a $2 tier called the supporter, which case it lets you get a loyalty badge next to your name in the comments section and during live chat during like streams and such, as well as uh, you have access to custom emojis that I'm adding to the channel as well. As of right now, I have the classic dab emote that you probably see on Discord if you're a part of that, um, as well as I have a pouting Shion, uh, Santa Nomine, and I'm for some reason, these, the Pataru Santa Nami doesn't work, so I'm trying to figure that out, but uh, hopefully I can get that working too. The second tier, called the Fan, is $5. Uh, essentially, it's, you get everything that the supporter has, except you also get an exclusive Discord role. Uh, in the future, I would like to potentially add higher tiers and be able to cool, do cooler stuff, like maybe, like maybe when the channel gets bigger or something, uh, ha be able to exclusively play a game with me or something or something. I don't know. Go ahead and let me know what your suggestions are in the comment section down below or in Discord. If you enjoy the content that I make here on the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you become a member. Alright, so in terms of the new darkness deal that they currently have in the game, uh, as you guys are probably aware by now, essentially you have a 1 in 5 chance of getting any of these 5 medals every single time you do a pull for this banner. Okay, which in some ways is not a bad thing just because of the fact that the majority that almost all five of these medals are all pretty good in their own right Except the flood. I don't like the flood, but most of them are good in their own right So like even if you don't end up getting the one you want, they're still usable um, And in case you're not aware as well, even though it says on the thing itself the rock troll is a 10 pull mercy pull now Realistically, the rock troll is not the one that we want to be gunning for, and I'll get that into that later. But for now, let's go ahead and go over the actual medals themselves and what they do. So this is what they look like. Um, the rock troll, which is this bad boy right here. The rock troll, uh, 7 star medal, has a maximum strength of 40,229, 40, which is pretty high. Uh, it's an AoE medal, does 5 hits for 1 turn, raises the reverse medal... Yeah, reverse metal strength by 2,500, pretty good. Uh, increases your reverse strength by 15 tiers and general strength by 10 tiers. Lowers the target's reverse defense by 15 tiers and general defense by 10 tiers. Increases guilt boost by 200% and does more damage to higher HP. Costs one gauge, it's tier 10. Has a damage multiplier of a 67.03 to an 80.64. Supernova. AoE Supernova has the mastery mechanic for one turn, raises reverse metal strength by 5,000. Essentially, in a nutshell, it's almost like the reverse version of the new Elsa medal that we got recently. Uh, increases your reverse strength by 15 tiers, general strength and magic strength by 10 tiers, lowers the target's reverse defense by 15 tiers, general defense and magic defense by 10 tiers, Increases your guilt buff by 300%. Also triggers before slot 1 in PvP. Has a Supernova multiplier of 220. Supernova plus Marionette, which is... That's the green one, one. Yeah. Which is this guy right here. Alright. It is a cop metal, essentially. Alright, I'll just read it all out. Uh, just for any of you who want to hear it. It's a single target metal, unleashes the same special attack as three metals after this one, if none, unleashes special attack of this metal. Alright, so 
in other words, if you use this uh, metal in slot three, it'll copy the metal in slot six. If you use it in slot two, it'll copy the metal in slot five. It's literally three metals away. Um, costs three gauges, tier 10, has a 40.03 multiplier. If it doesn't copy anything, that's the multiplier. That's the big thing you gotta know. Um, especially for any newer players who are kind of confused in how copy metals work. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. It's Supernova, has an AoE Supernova for one turn, re uh, raises reverse metal strength by 5,000, pretty good. Increases your general, or not your general, increases your speed strength by 15 tiers, lowers the target speed defense by 15 tiers, increases your guilt buff by 280%, triggers before slot 3 in PvP, has a 220 damage multiplier. Alright, next up we have the Supernova Plus Patchwork Animals, which is also a copy metal, which is going to be this guy right here, the, the little stuffed animals. Alright, uh, single target. Unleashes the same special attack as three metals before this one. If none, unleashes special attack of this metal. So it's basically the opposite of the marionette, where this time, if let's say you have the patchwork animals in slot six, it will copy the metal in slot three. If you have it in slot five, it'll copy the one in slot two. Okay, it's literally three metals before it. Uh, otherwise known as a backwards copy metal. Uh, it also costs 3 gauges, tier 10, has the same multiplier of a 40.03. Uh, oh no, I think I explained it already. Anyways, okay, next up we have Supernova Plus Flood, which is this guy right here. It's an AoE metal, deals 5 hits for 1 turn, uh, raises reverse metal strength by 2,000 for 2 turns. Increases your general defense and PSM defense by seven tiers. That's actually kind of decent. Lowers the target's general strength by seven tiers. Uh, increases guilt buff by 200%. And has fixed damage. Costs one gauge. Is a tier nine metal. And does a t fixed damage amount of 100 million damage. There's an asterisk there for some reason. Damage value with the maximum special also includes... Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So it does a total of 100 million damage, which realistically is very low. And I'll get to that in a second as well. Supernova, AoE Supernova for one turn, raises reverse metal strength by 3,500. For three turns, lowers the target's general strength and PSM strength by five tiers. Lowers, I mean, uh, raises your guilt buff by 280%. Triggers before slot two in PvP. Has a damage multiplier of 220 for the Supernova. And last but not least, we have Supernova Plus Parasol Beauty, which is this one in the top right corner. Uh, is a random target metal, does seven hits. For one turn, raises reverse metal strength by 2000. Uh, also increases your general strength and reverse strength by 10 tiers. Lowers the targets. General defense and reverse defense by 10 tiers. Increases guilt buff by 200%. Does more damage to higher the slot number. Cause zero gauges. Is a tier 9 metal. Has a damage multiplier of a 63.84 to a 72.37. Supernova is an AoE supernova. For one turn raises reverse metal strength by 3500. Increases your general strength, reverse, and magic strength by 15 tiers, lowers the target's general defense, reverse, and magic defense by 15 tiers, increases guilt buff by 280%, adds three counters, triggers before slot one PvP, has a damage multiplier of 220 for this supernova. Oh, <laughs> that was a lot of reading. Okay, so in a nutshell, because I know that was a lot to go over, in a nutshell, which ones are worth looking after, uh, which ones are good, which ones are blah, 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 blah. Okay, so in short, okay, the Flood, which is this guy right here, is, and the Parasol Beauty are the ones that you kind of don't really care about all too much. Um, Parasol Beauty, just because of the fact it is a random target, so in AoE situations, it's you don't really have the greatest control over it, um, although it does a decent amount of damage. Uh, it doesn't cost any gauges, which is also kind of nice, but its multiplier is is just decent. Um, it's not high, but it's not like crazy. It's not low either. It's just it's just kind of in the middle. It's just a decent damage metal, essentially. Um, you want to most preferably use it during situations that 
you only have like one target to fight against if, if, if possible the flood because of the fact that the flood only does 100 million damage that's incredibly low to put things into perspective decent metals at this point in time do at least around a billion damage so the fact that this only does 100 million literally like at the very minimum uh one tenth <laughs> of the amount of damage that good metals do at this point it's just it just it's a very feels bad uh metal at the moment okay the uh even though it raises reverse metal strength by 3500 for the supernova and by 2000 for the normal ability um the only real benefit that you would want to use this for is how should i put it for turtling essentially uh because of the fact that that's really the only value you're getting at this point um, because of the seven tiers of increased general defense and PSM defense, as well as the lowering of the opponent's uh, general strength by seven tiers, as well as the uh, general strength and PSM strength by five tiers for the supernova. It's it's not the greatest metal. There's already many other turtle metals that basically do essentially almost the same exact thing as the flood, if not slightly better. So it's it's just kind of eh at the moment um the main ones that you kind of want to focus on getting if you choose to pull from this banner is going to be the two copy metals and the rock troll personally for me i could care less about the rock troll just because it's basically just a over glorified damage metal um yeah basically that's basically it like it has one of the highest and if not i think the highest off the top of my head, damage multiplier in the game. On top of the fact that it has uh, some of the highest metal strengthening ability in the game as well. As of right now, 2500 is the max. Or not the max, is the highest in terms of the normal ability. And 5000, I believe, is the highest in terms of Supernova, which Rock Troll has both. Um, it's almost in a way, like I described before, just a reverse version of the Elsa metal that we just got recently. Um, but instead of... Uh, buffing magic metals this one only does reverse so it has a little bit of greater access to strategies and setups uh, compared to let's say Elsa Elsa has to be used in a purely magic setup whereas rock troll can be used in any reverse setup which is a little bit easier to do compared to uh, a specific attribute all right um, but anyways uh, yeah so what in terms of whether or not you should pull from this banner, personally for me, I think that it's worth doing at least a few pulls if you have the jewels to do so. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be skeptical about whether or not they really need the two copy medals just because of the fact that copying from three medals away seems not like that great, but realistically, it can actually do a pretty huge amount of combo potential although um, um although one thing i do want to mention is that because of the fact that they are reverse metals and their supernovas do uh buff reverse uh, other reverse metals even though you could technically use this in upright strategies um they are going to shine the most during actual reverse setups now, out of the two of these two copper metals, the one that I prefer the most is going to be the patchwork animals, just because of the fact that you can, at the very least, guarantee use it in your pet slot on every single keyblade set up in the game. Um, so, at the very least, you can still use it to copy whatever metal you might have in slot three compared to the marionette because it's a speed reverse metal. Um, the furthest that Assuming that you're not able to copy a friend's uh, a friend metal essentially, okay? And the furthest copy metal or the furthest metal that you could copy is your pet pet slot. Uh, the furthest that you could actually put the marionette is in slot three. And you wouldn't want it in slot one anyways, just because of the fact that that's typically where you're putting your main buffer metal in the first place, such as like your Namine or your Kairi Shion A, for example. Uh, so realistically, the marionette only more or less has room to be in slots three and two. So realistically, the marionette only has like space 
to be in slots two and three. Um, now, not saying that it's not usable necessarily, but it's definitely very limited in its use. So even though it's a good metal, it's not the greatest in terms of usability. Uh, and to even further act upon that, or to further elaborate on that, I should say, uh, there are not very metals in the entire game that even have slots, or yes, uh, reverse speed slots in slots two and three that can even take advantage of the marionette in the first place so you're just kind of scrolling through this on uh tracker if starlight nope nope okay lady luck yeah barely on slot two and i'll be copying slot five um three wishes nope uh olympia nope divine rose yeah same thing as lady luck book of glory nope sleep line yes if for slot three you'll be copying the pet slot Counterpoint, nope. Uh, Stroke of Midnight, yes. Copying Pet Slot. Fenrir, nope. Nope. Missing Egg, obviously. Fairy Stars, nope. Diamond Dust, nope. And of course, uh, for the new uh, Bad Guy Breaker, uh, that would be able to work as well because you, you can put it in slot two. Uh, but that should just go to show that out of all of the Keyblades in the game, there were only one, two three, four, five, six Keyblades in the entire game that can potentially actually use Marionette on their Keyblade. Out of those six Keyblades, however, only like three of them, or maybe I guess you could say four of them, only four of them are actually going to be used the majority of the time. Um, Lady Luck and Divine Rose are not the greatest Keyblades anymore. And realistically, you're only going to want to be using uh, Sleeping Lion, uh, where is it, Stroke of Midnight, Missing Ache, and Diamond Dust at this point in the game. Uh, so realistically, Marionette can only really be used on four out of, like, four Keyblades out of what, like, the 15, 16 Keyblades are in the game. So it's it's very low amount of uh, usability compared to the Patrick Animals. Uh, copy metal who can at least be used in the pet slot across all keyblades regardless of what you're running now in terms of the rock troll metal uh, because of the fact it is a really heavy hitting uh, damage metal at the moment and it does have some of the highest uh, metal strengthening buffs in the game if you happen to get it that's great okay now i probably wouldn't go chasing after it just because of the fact that it is a temple mercy uh, but it is a really good metal uh, because of the fact that we do get two uh, magic reverse metals in this uh, banner, as well as the fact that we also are getting the copy metals, such as uh, the patchwork animals, for example, it does make uh, setups such as for diamond dust make diamond dust look a whole lot better. It really increases how much more effective the reverse setups are starting to become um because that was one of the things we were kind of lacking at the moment was like right now even though metal strengthening metals are kind of the meta at the moment realistically it's upright metal strengthening metals that are meta realistically uh there's there wasn't the greatest amount of support uh for reverse metal strengthening and essentially these metals just brought in a whole swath of new metals uh that can finally help support reverse strategies so that's kind of the plus side about it uh, the downside is that there's just not very many keyblades that can actually effectively use a reverse setup <laughs> now in terms of whether or not i think you should actually pull for this banner um i do think if you have enough jewels to do so uh, I do think doing at least maybe a few, like maybe two or three, wouldn't hurt just to see if you can at least get the copy medals. Um, if you happen to get the rock troll along the way, even that, like that's great. Uh, but I wouldn't sink too much into it either, just because of the fact that you're not really missing too much if you don't get these medals at the moment. Um, especially the copy medals. Now, I know I'm a huge advocate for copy medals. I've always have been. They're some of the best medals of the game, essentially feature-proof in other words. But because of the fact that their supernovas exclusively affect reverse medals, it kind of makes them slightly difficult to get the most ideal usage out of them. On top of the fact that, especially in Marionette's case, uh, 
there might not always be a situation in which you would want to actually use them either. Maybe the patchwork animals, but not marionette, the reverse, speed reverse one. Um, so, just to reiterate, maybe a couple pulls at most. I wouldn't go too crazy on it though. Uh, other than that, it's up to your discretion on how much you want to go for this. But, but other than that, I would love to hear what you guys thought and opinions are in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Especially when I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Just as a reminder, I do have the new join button on, so I really appreciate it if you become a member. I'm looking to start doing uh, more things, especially live streaming. Uh, I was kind of waiting until I have this video go out announcing the join button before I start doing like the uh, Final Fantasy streams again, for example. But other than that, my name is Brian from KX Nation. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys. Mm -hmm.